Could you find somebody that fits the bill of what you're looking for? Yeah. Will they want you? I don't know. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra, and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. Today, we're going to be doing another Rouge Reactions. I think that's the name I'm kind of settled on. Now, y'all know I love me some Ab and Preach, okay? And they actually reacted to, I guess it's like a podcast. Honestly, I don't know what the name of the podcast is. It seems like it's mostly like woman-centric. They were having a conversation about how much money a man makes and whether or not they should be dating. If you've been on my channel, you probably already know where I'm going with this and how I feel about it. But, you know, for the newbies, you know, for the new gang, gang, gang that's coming in, let's just, let's talk, let's talk relationships, okay? While I'm doing this, I'm going to be trying out some new makeup. So I'm going to put in some review in there along with the reaction. So double the R's. Hopefully we turn out cute. As you can see, your girl got a visitor right there. I got another visitor right there. I don't know what's going on with my skin. I'm going to try to put some more of that retinol cream on this spot and right here and see if those go away hopefully they can go away quickly because we don't like them visitors over here we like for our skin to be clean and visitor free without further ado let's go ahead and get into this video okay so talk about um because we do have male listeners as well right. so talk about what dating would look like for you know a guy who's maybe making just like a hundred thousand a year you know mm -hmm. and he wants he's a high value man mm -hmm. in every aspect of it he's a just one hundred thousand a year i already know where this is going I already know where this is going. As soon as I heard just 100,000 a year, you know what I know where this is going? Where is this, where is that going? La Dugional. Yeah, La Dugional land. We use different words now. La I don't say the, I, I don't say delusional, I say La Dugional La or the Lulu. I get where they're coming from by saying that, thinking that you're just gonna find a man that's making $100,000 a year is delusional. Because I think the average wage or the average amount of money that people are making in the United States is somewhere around like $40,000. And then for black people, I think it's even lower than that. Most people are not going to find somebody that is making that much money. Does that mean Mean that you can't obviously not you can but to make that the standard is a bit weird because the standard should be somewhere along the medium income i do feel some type of way about so much emphasis being put on how much money someone makes let's be serious money doesn't make the situation better always i mean like look at cassie diddy with his rich self you know after all those years of him robbing his artist um i'm pretty sure she's much happier with the man that she's with now who makes way less. We should be putting emphasis on finding someone that has the same values as us, someone who wants the same things that we want, someone who is going to be a good father, good wife, good mother, all those things, good husband. Why are we putting so much emphasis on how much money someone makes and letting all the other stuff go to the wayside? Because there is no amount of money that will make it okay to be a terrible father to my daughter. No, ma'am. And what's crazy is that depending on where you live, 100000 isn't even really cutting it these days as far as like being able to pay your bills, as far as being able to feed yourself. Like, have y'all seen grocery prices? Groceries are crazy. It's like you're buying a luxury item to get some bread and some meat, some bread, meat, and cheese. You looking at luxury prices. Everything is so inflated right now. This major emphasis that we're having on money, it's for the, all the wrong reasons. And as you watch the video, you'll see why it's for all the wrong reasons. They don't even bring up like legitimate reasons why you would be looking for a partner that has access to resources. Good guy, but maybe he doesn't have the income to be, you know, yes. giving $10,000 yeah, to a woman yeah. to, you know, invest in her business. Absolutely. So what does dating look like for like the average? 100,000 is not even the average person. Let's, right. Right. let's, yeah. let's keep it so real. So let's, yeah. let's keep it real. For the average person who is mm -hmm. making $50,000, that's mm -hmm. a good person. What does dating look like for them? So if you're making $50,000, don't date. I'm, I'm just being for real. You're not ready to date. Listen, if you ain't got an IQ over 100, like, don't you're not ready to podcast. That's a wild statement to say. If you're making $50,000, you're not supposed to be dating. Bruh, th did you realize what that means? That means the population is going to decrease even more than it already is, okay? Because the majority of people are making, like I said, the median is around like forty to $50,000 a year. So you're saying majority of people should not be having kids, so the birth rate is going to go down so low that we're 
literally going to go extinct. We're literally going to go extinct as a people if we're not supposed to date. And what you going to do? Have kids with somebody that you haven't even dated yet? I, I honestly cannot imagine real people in real life are thinking this way. Like this has to be just like a social media thing. Things that people say just because it sounds good on a microphone. <laughs> I genuinely cannot believe that someone would think that $50,000 is not enough money to be able to date. <laughs> like, let's be serious. What exactly does what you're saying entail? I don't think people really think about that. They just be saying stuff and don't even realize what that means in the long run. And I would be curious to find out how much she makes in a year. Just, just out of curiosity. I don't know if she keeps that same energy for women, right? If you're a woman and you're not making more than $50,000 a year, does that mean you're not eligible to date either? And I get it. Men and women are different. Our roles in society are different, but money is still green. <laughs> regardless of who's making it. The resources are finite, okay? I know it seems like money can just come out of nowhere because the way US government be printing it out to send everybody else. Just cause they print it out like crazy don't mean it's going into the pockets of everyday Americans. A majority of people are not gonna have access to money like that. You're literally dooming the entire population, damn near the entire population to being lonely and to not procreating and all this other stuff because you don't understand how money Money works. You don't understand how the economy works. You don't understand that resources are finite. There's a reason why there's different class systems. Majority of people are not going to fit into those higher echelon class systems because it is designed to be exclusive, right? Like it's designed so that majority of people cannot live that life. That's not a reasonable perspective to have. Like it's it's delusional, delulu. Okay, like they said, it's delulu, which is such a fun term. I've heard that before ever preach. Uh, I think I saw this one girl, she said on her video that quitting her job to pursue content creation was delulu. <laughs> this is one of those moments where it's like, sis, go touch grass. Go touch grass because you talking crazy. You're talking like people are not working their ass off to make that $50,000 a year. You're not making that much money. You'd be spending every last moment you have just, just working three, four jobs if you have to. That's not reasonable. I really, really hope that this is not the mentality of most women because if you are believing like this, like this woman, you're most likely going to end up alone. Could you find somebody that fits the bill of what you're looking for? Yeah. Will they want you? I don't know. Once you start dealing with people that have money like that, they got options. They might choose you for today, okay? And then they don't choose you tomorrow. But you could find you somebody that's making a decent wage enough to, to you know, sustain and then build upon. And then y'all work together as a team to make it happen and build a life for yourself and your family that's comfortable. This idea that everyone's gonna just magically become high value and make over a 100000 and all like it's just it's delulu okay it's delusional uh ladusional <laughs> i didn't hear the ladusional that's a new one ladusional is new <laughs> that's what i was about to say <laughs> there needs to be a permit for these podcasts Queen you're not Bride. ready to date and you're not ready to date because courtship costs okay everything costs okay you can go for 22 walks in the park but bench eventually Shorty is gonna need a sip of something. She's gonna be thirsty. <laughs> this bottle of water is $3 in Atlanta. Let's not play. So if you don't have any expendable cash, don't date. And whatever that looks like for you, you might only make 50,000, but you live in a shoe. And, and now you got expendable cash. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not saying you gotta pay to play to be with a woman. I'm simply saying courtship costs. Right. It is not free it's to not. date. I'm not, I'm not saying, <laughs> but I'm saying. I don't think she realized she just contradicted the heck out of herself. You don't have to pay to play, but you gotta pay to court. That's the same thing. You're literally saying the same thing. What conversations like this do is reduce women down to basically profit. What happens to dating someone because you like them? Like you actually like them because they have good personality, because they, they show you respect, they treat you with dignity. Y'all genuinely get along, y'all vibe, okay? It's all good vibes. You are gonna have to spend some money to go on dates and things like that. Does it have to be super expensive? Absolutely not. There are plenty of dates that are relatively inexpensive. For example, you could go to museums. There are plenty of museums across 
across the United States that are free on certain days. So you just kind of plan your schedule around to go do different things. It doesn't have to be super expensive. And when you do pay money, you don't have to get the lobster, okay? You don't have to get the lobster. The chicken is just as good. I mean, it's not just as good, but it's still good, okay? You can always cook at home. You could always go for coffee. You could, there's so many different things that you can do. Hell, you can go volunteer at a spot together and then they feed you there. If you are with the right person, someone that you actually enjoy being around, no matter what you're doing, you're gonna have a good time. So it's not even just like, oh, well, if we're going here and it's just not gonna be fun and I'm gonna be bored. If you're with the right person, you're not gonna be bored, okay? Me and Justin, we can literally just sit and have a good time and just be chilling because we actually got good vibes. We get along. We actually like each other. She made that disclaimer to make it sound better than what it is. But once you break it down for what she actually said, that is what she's saying. You have to pay to play. Hey y'all, this is editing Sandra. And I just want to address something else that she said. I don't know why I didn't catch this when I first heard the video, but she essentially said, hey, if you're living in a shoe, but you make $50,000, then you have money to spend. Y'all, she is literally pushing for people to be financially irresponsible. If you are living in a shoe and you're making $50,000, I'm gonna need you to be working towards getting out that shoe, not trying to take you out to expensive five-star restaurants and shopping sprees and whatever else dream delusional fantasy dates that these women have in their minds. I'm gonna need you to not waste your money on that and focus your money on improving your living situation, okay? She was literally advocating for men to be irresponsibly handling their funds. And honestly, irresponsible fund management is a complete and utter turnoff. I would much rather we go on economically feasible dates and work towards having the more, you know, extravagant dates later on, right? It's something we can work up to based on what she was saying she wants men to focus their money on taking broads out for dates and it's just like no ma'am absolutely not focus your money on handling your business okay focus your money on bettering your situation and we can work on getting to more extravagant dates later on in the relationship when we actually know we like each other we actually know that we want to spend our lives together then yeah we can go on more extravagant dates later on but in that meantime between time you can to know somebody don't be spending your rent money on taking some broad to an expensive dinner or taking her out to some expensive shopping spree or expensive whatever the heck I just wanted to pop in and just add that little tidbit because I I heard it and then I completely did not respond to it in the video but boop, this is the response now I'm not, I'm not saying, saying <laughs> but I'm saying now she's Houdini. she has a rush I says oh I'm not saying my name is Ladujuno, <laughs> but my name is Ladujuno. <laughs> and she has left you confused. Jesus Christ. But it's because you're not understanding what's been understood. So it's my it's my problem. It is always the man's fault. Okay. Yes. It is a man's world. You pay the bills. <laughs> you understand? You understand? Say that again. They carry the babies, you pay the bills. All right. Even when they don't have children, you pay the bills. Right. You understand? When she has a job, she makes more money than you. You pay the bills. Right. When she has a job and you are unemployed, you pay the bills. Jesus. Do you understand? This is a man's world. <laughs> you pay the bills. Bruh. Honestly, I do think that more couples do like 50-50. You know, like my parents, they did like basically 50-50, you know? My dad paid like the mortgage and then my mom did like the utilities and things like that. They both bought groceries. Some people, yeah, they do have a situation where their man pays all the bills. But I think majority of the time, everyone's paying bills. <laughs> I think that that's more realistic is just that men and women are both working and paying the bills. Because like I said, inflation is a ridiculous okay it's ridiculous to keep up and to maintain and to be able to afford the nice things that you want both people are tending to work which is sad because i personally am a firm believer in staying home with your children okay that's what i believe for myself i can't say that for every single person but in my perspective i would much rather be the one teaching bella especially when you hear these crazy ass stories that be coming out of these schools of like other kids doing crazy stuff to your kid and 
sending freaking teachers doing crazy stuff to your kid. I'd rather just handle that business at home. But that's just me. I'm not here to shame anybody for what they have to do because I understand that being able to stay at home with your child is a privilege. If she was talking about things like that, if she was like, okay, if you're trying to build a family, I understand like, oh, you need to make a certain amount of money so that you can provide for your family, so that you can be able to send your child to a good school, have a house in a safe neighborhood. Like if she was saying things like that, I would totally understand. This is for talking about dating. You gotta have this exorbitant amount of money so you can buy me things, so you can take me on dates. Are you dating their money or are you dating them? Money don't come with value outside of what it can buy you. I I've never seen someone take a dollar bill out on a date and sit there across from the dollar bill and have a good thoughtful conversations with that dollar bill. Let's say, you know, got some other problems going on that we're not gonna get into. Spending an exorbitant amount of money isn't a replacement for being with somebody that actually care about you. It's not a replacement for being with somebody that you actually vibe with, you actually like. That's why a lot of these relationships be failing is because y'all don't even like each other. You're just dating each other for optics. He got money and she got a fat booty. That's <laughs> the optics. But the optics ain't gonna hold you forever. Because even if you do go for somebody that has a lot of money, there's no guarantee that they're gonna keep that money. <laughs> they, they, they could lose it all tomorrow. And what, you gonna leave them? They had a hiccup in their career because they lost their job because their job is being automated or whatever the case may be. That's why it's more important to focus on the values that the person has. If she had brought up like fiscal responsibility, like you're being responsible with your money and that being the determining factor of whether or not you want to go on dates with them, that would make sense because you don't want to be with somebody that's going to live check to check because they're being irresponsible and not because of the job options that are available to them at that moment. If someone is wasting all their money on their vices and then not being able to pay their bills, yeah, don't date their ass. <laughs> I wouldn't date their ass <laughs> because you're irresponsible. You go bag, okay, for both of us. If we have children, we're going to be facing eviction because you can't put down the liquor. You can't put down the cannabis. You can't stop gambling. Like, things like that, I can understand. But she didn't say that. She just wants you to have money so you can take her to a five-star restaurant or take her, you know, it's just, it's crazy. Like, some of us can't even take our homegirl out and be, and it's free. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you, you peeling off a little check for shorty's mm -hmm. right. So it's like, why do we expect anything else of women with a man? Like, fellas, if you're broke, don't date. You're not ready to date yet. Or get you... 50000 is not broke, but okay. $50,000, you can pay for a lot of things with $50,000. $50,000 is a decent amount of money. I was making $50,000 before I moved to China. I was able to pay for everything I wanted to pay for. I could take myself out on little dates. Some of these people that be on these podcasts need to touch grass. You're not ready to date yet. Or get you a bottom of the barrel bit that's going to date you when you have no money. That's what I was about a ball bottom of the barrel pit. My, my girl, you are come on the set looking like Shrek. <laughs> and you have caught someone else bottom of the barrel. <laughs> you are the protagonist of a Pixar movie. Well, I think that's DreamWorks, but I'll let you have it. She's basically saying that people who marry and don't really consider the money of the person and they're willing to struggle with them are bottom of the barrel. Yep. I'm not going to let somebody slander all the people who are really making it, trying to work despite the financial situation not being Yo, the best, I willing to save penny pinch and do whatever and struggle together see this problem with this is this she want to make it with you when you already made it yeah yeah they trying to show up after the finish line to hand you your flowers not recognize i needed somebody to hand me a water bottle while i was running the marathon you understand me that's why this actually super foul and, and not only that they laughing they mocking the people who with their partners handing them the water bottles while they run. They laughing at the guys. Yo, and get the your girl. whole trash ass out of here. When I have a problem with this, it's not even the money discussion, this and that. They're denigrating people who want to struggle together because they love each other. That's what I don't like. Just because someone is choosing to come up with another person doesn't mean that they're bottom of the barrel. Is that really what you're putting your value on? Whether or not you'll only deal with somebody because they got money? When I think bottom of the barrel, I'm thinking someone that has no self-respect, someone that treats people like crap, someone that doesn't take care of themselves, someone with a nasty attitude, someone was just unpleasant to be around. Like, that's what I think of when I think of bottom of the barrel. I'm not thinking someone that wants to be with somebody and then come up together or someone that wants to be with somebody and isn't like, oh, you have to be rich. Like, that doesn't make you bottom of the barrel. 
I find it funny that a lot of these same women, they talk all this feminist stuff, but then they say some of the most disgusting things about women, right? Like, just because we're not all out here trying to be gold diggers and hypergamous does not mean the rest of us are just bottom of the barrel. Because we're not escorts, we're bottom of the barrel. Girl, bye. Have you looked at yourself? Have you heard yourself speak? 90% of men who just listened to you said, you're garbage. You know what I'm So, you know, I just wanted to say that. Exactly. Your personality and how you treat people is gonna affect how people view you. Hearing her speak, I wouldn't be surprised if majority of men are skipping on her. Why would you wanna be with somebody that only values you for what you bring financially? The same way like all these women be complaining about, oh, they only want us for what our bodies look like. You know, those same women and they do the same thing to men and all they want is their money. I feel like the folks that are like that deserve each other. The men that only care about what you look like, they deserve the women that only care about their money. <laughs> Two peas of the same pod, and they can go do their thing over there and have their toxic relationships, while the rest of us find meaningful relationships where we actually share values, we actually share desire and goal, enjoyments, and actually like each other. Like, we can do our thing over here and then make it come up together while y'all over there trying to worry about petty things that in the long run won't really mean anything. Because when it comes to having children, how fat her booty is doesn't matter. Do you want some crazy heifer raising your children? If all you're doing is putting your eggs in the basket that has the higher price tag, you're gonna get what you get. But don't sit around here and ish on the people that actually wanna find love, that actually wanna find somebody that's going to cherish them for their entire life. It's just, it seems really silly to get on somebody chair with a microphone and say something like that with a whole chest. It makes me think of uh, high school. Uh. A lot of people in high school, a lot of girls in high school had that mentality. They go for the, they go for the, the guy that's obviously gonna hurt you, or, or 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 the guy that's. You go for these standards that are like futile and that don't. That it doesn't matter. Yeah. And you, it's okay that you go for that, but you bash the other corny. Yeah. Or the corny dude. The guy that's going to be secure and got your back, that's going to get your back, you're going to bash that dude. And then later out, you come to find out, oh, my God, I can't believe then. Uh, you were so good when, no, but that time is gone. And it's too late now. You know what I mean? Eventually, you're going to wake up and oh, it's because of that behavior. People are not going to watch. You're going to chase something that's really not attainable. Everybody wants that thing. It's not really going to be attainable. And when it's going to time for you to... When you're going to realize it, it's going to be a bit too late. That's absolute facts. Oh, wait, I don't need to do that yet. I need a spray first. Okay, I almost jacked myself up again. You spend your time, you spend your, your 20s chasing after men that treat you like crap. And then when it gets time to be, you know, an adult and settle down, find somebody that's going to, because some of these women end up with kids with all these dudes that don't really care for them the way that they feel like they should be cared for. You know, you're in your 30s and you're looking for a man that's going to provide for you and the children that you've had with other men. The pickings will be slim. They're not going to be as many options as there were when you were young younger and didn't have all that baggage because that's what that is okay when you you know spend your time and you have dated so many people that treated you terribly and you end up with children with people that you really don't want to have children with bless the child nothing against the children but the person you had the child with isn't someone that you would like to be connected to in that way you're ending up with a lot of baggage and nobody gonna want to deal with that everyone has their stuff but don't be carrying around no heavy load okay get your Erica by do on and let that go. Or better yet, try not to accumulate so much baggage on the way to happiness. So it's like, why do we expect anything else of women with a man? Like, fellas, if you're broke, don't date. You're not ready to date yet. Or get you a bottom of the barrel that's going to date you when you have no money. That's what I was about to ask. If do she think... doesn't want anything financial right. from you, if she doesn't have that expectation, and I'm going to tell you this right now, Enjoy it while it lasts because eventually you're going to want to run because she doesn't stretch you. She doesn't make you the man that you need to become in mm -hmm. order to thrive in this world. Right. She doesn't set expectations for you. She allows you to be the stagnant dude in the same jeans for three days. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Same and, jeans and is wild. You be cutting up. <laughs> you talk about saying. me. You be yeah, cutting I'm up. Where she's wrong is just because people aren't making six figures doesn't mean they don't change their draws. 
just because someone is not making six figures doesn't mean that they're not striving for something more. Sometimes people need to need to work to get there. Not everything is going to come right away. You have these women on these podcasts saying this stuff and you might have younger women that don't know any better and they will pass up on a very good dude just because they heard some woman on a podcast talking about how you need to make sure you get with somebody that got money. How are you going to push someone to be better if you're not even in the situation with them in the first place? Like you can motivate someone to be better. You, you most certainly can. I mean, you kind of have to be with that person to really motivate them, right? If you're not with them, you ain't really motivating ish. I, I feel like she was saying that as a cope to try to make it sound better than what it actually sounds like because she's hearing herself and she knows it sounds bad. Ooh, this smells minty. Uh, okay. She knows it sounds bad. That's why she's trying to clean it up by saying, oh, me doing this is actually going to help men. You got to help them be better. Reach your full potential by telling you you ain't sh unless you got enough money to do extravagant things. Like, girl, bye. Ain't nobody falling for that coat. This is the final look. I think I look cute. With my glasses off, I think I look cute. But let's go ahead and finish this video really quick. I don't know about y'all, but I've dated dealers in my past, and that's cute that's when you're in your 20s. Yeah, I'm 35 you years old. Right. I am not dating no damn like, don't know who's gonna run up in my door. Don't know who's what's gonna happen in the streets when we out together. You can't protect me. It doesn't matter how much protection you have on you. Yeah. You can't protect me if that's what you're doing and that's your motive and that's that's how you get your money. Yeah. And let's be honest, I don't really know many rich because they live that life. They're right. spending it as yep. fast as it's coming. They're spending it. And so you might come up on a little a little come up and a man that's like, here, baby, here's 20 bands. And if you're smart with it, mm -hmm. you'll go do with it what you what you know you need to do. Right. But when you're with a hustler, you don't. Because the money keeps rolling to keep, in. You're yeah. trying to keep up with the Joneses. He, yeah. he take you out. His homies all got girls in Chanel and, and Balenciagas and whatever. Mm. And you like, damn. Is that what you got? Is that what you got right now? You got a rich dude? I, I, you, I, you, I hold, hold, hold on. You got a rich... Is that what you got right now? A rich dude that is doing all that? Do you? I highly doubt it. Maybe it's true. Maybe, maybe she does. Maybe, maybe she does. Because no, well, no, no sense of speculating. I just don't like... The generation of people who get on these podcasts and brag about the fact that they're wearing crazy designer brands like that like that's the first thing they'd be bragging about when they got their partner that's not smart like it is so unbelievably cringe that you guys derive such pleasure and joy from wearing these brands that like look down on black people generally speaking to begin with don't even really want you guys in a lot of their advertisement and you guys are like proudly wearing this shit as if it makes you guys superior or better it is disgusting and i mean that's facts i really feel like the majority of regular people okay people not sitting on folks couches with microphones in their hands are not sitting over here so concerned with designer everything. Unless you're really stunting on the gram, nobody really cares about that. Majority of people that I see are trying to catch a deal, right? We're trying to catch something that, that look good, it feels good, and it costs the low. First of all, a lot of that stuff be ugly, okay? I'm gonna just keep it a buck. A lot of that stuff be ugly. And not only that, it's, it's a waste. It's wasteful. You can literally buy a really nice outfit for way less and still look good. I don't think a lot of people nowadays are caring so much about brands as much as they used to, but you still have these folks sitting on folks' couches acting like that's the general consensus. His girl drenched in this and his girl wearing that, so why isn't he making me wear that? How much of a loser follower do you have to be to be like, oh, well, they have that, so I need to have that as well? Can't you just do your own thing? Like, why are you trying to keep up with some other broad that you don't really know like that? And even if you did know her like that, like, why are you trying to keep up with her? Do your own thing. This loser follower mentality. I'm not saying that you can't have nice things but placing all of your value on that that's ludicrous to me there's way more to life and there are so many more enjoyable beautiful things that don't cost versace louis vuitton prices you know y'all really set yourselves up to be miserable and not have someone that actually cares for you for you because you yourself are not caring for the other person for them you're only caring for what they can offer you financially some of these folks are cooked if my friends like that you know you got gucci you loser and if i ever met a girl and she was talking that shit, i would already know she's got lacking values if she's obsessed with designer brands it's fine if you own the shit if you have a deep obsession or you judge people's value based off what kind of designer brand they have i already know we just it's not your weird. whole shit is out of whack to me and you like damn i need to go get that and so you go take your little money and you go shopping to put a, make your little boomerang mm -hmm. and now your bank account is suffering 
until he gives you another chunk. And right. You don't know how long that's going to be, how long that's going to last. That's true. So like, you said that out loud, and you really thought you said something. And you got two other girls backing you up saying, mm-hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, that's true. It's cause they're, they're, Is it? They're, okay. They well, live in their bubble. Yeah, we don't live in the same lifestyle. And it's okay. If you guys are happy with that, then that's cool. You do you. I think it's hella stupid, but... Are they happy with it? Ask the ladies that, how. Ask the ladies how dating in Atlanta is. Ask the ladies how dating in Atlanta is. is it if if they happy with it. it, ask them how it is. Because of what? The guys are not good, or because it's all. But everybody's gay. Don't I look? Just, just ask him how it is. I'm just saying. I don't I'll, know. I'll, 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 I'll say. say this. You guys would be much more likely to lead happier lives and to find love and to find actual fulfillment in life, spiritually, physically, mentally, if you guys value things other than Balenciaga and. Versace. You would. And I agree. Find someone that shares the same values as you. It's something deeper than the clothes on someone's back or the jewelry that's on their wrist and neck and all that stuff. Them buying you fancy things isn't going to keep them from putting hands on you. Them buying you fancy things isn't going to keep them from tossing you to the side so they can get the next new fresh person that they want to now shower with gifts. If we focus on things that actually matter, finding people that actually care about us, finding people people that want to be with us long term, that want to have a family with us, if, if a family is what you want, someone that you just have good vibes with and enjoy their time, you're going to be much better off. That's what's going to give you peace when time is running out. You're going to be thinking about all that time you spent with that person you love, that loves you. Y'all, you know, grew together, became better people together. That's what's going to hold you tight when that light starts to flicker out. I really hate this gender war thing. It's like, can we just realize that we need each other and treat each other with respect. I wish those women in the podcast to have a moment of awakening and then start valuing themselves more than just physical material items that could lose value any day. You know, something could happen and then Versace won't be worth what Versace's worth now. It's just, it's just silly to put your value on stuff like that. Let's talk about some of these products I use today because I think I look cute. You know, my glasses are off. I might put them on and be like, girl, get yourself together. This primer seems really nice. It's that serum but then it also says primer i don't know i don't know if i'm going to use this as a primer or a serum yet i'm gonna see how this makeup holds up if it holds up really well i'm gonna be using this as a primer this is the glow recipe strawberry bha pore smooth blur drops it felt good on the skin it felt really good on the skin so i did like that i'm gonna need y'all to get into this this blush what does it call it blush lighter oh she that girl like honestly put a little bit more of her on there because she that girl for real i am in love with this blusher palette you see that this this is my girl right here i want to try these other shades they kind of look similar but this one right here for sure is gorgeous thank you allure okay you be coming through allure be giving us some stuff that we didn't know we need but now that we know we need her we stand her i mean i used to use things like this not this brand i i'm a little rusty on my my brow skills when it comes to this but i think they turned out pretty good it has a really nice color so this is definitely my color the next new thing was this palette absolutely stunning next time i'm getting into this blue okay i really wanted to play with this blue but it really wasn't going with my outfit so i'm gonna play with that blue some other time it blended like a freaking dream pigments are pigmented i think the last new item that i tried was this i guess this roan tinted lip gloss or just like a lip gloss i'm not getting that much color payoff from it but it smells really good it has like a minty pepperminty kind of smell i'm not getting any little vein thing little spider webs through my mouth okay so it's not too sticky oh i'm gonna pat mcgrath this thing went on so beautifully i absolutely adore this eyeliner she's a keeper i'm definitely gonna re-up on her when she runs out or dries out whichever happens first let me know your thoughts on the video down below how do y'all feel about folks saying that you have to make more than $50,000 to be dating. Let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think of this look, okay? Are we are we beat? Okay, did, did I beat the face? Or did the face beat me? If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fabe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.